Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Nocturne Sky from the True Crafteer, and we will be starting our second Java programming tutorial. Alright, so if you haven't gotten a chance to swing by and uh, do the first one, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, please make sure to do that. Uh, it's not good to skip tutorials, you might miss something. Uh, if uh, At most, you can just fast forward through stuff you already know, but uh, there might be some information covered that you might skip, so that would be good. Alright, so let's uh, get started. Today's tutorial will be uh, including our how to display something on the console and then how to uh, do our basic math operations in Java. Alright, so let's just begin with simply uh, discovering how to print something on our console. To do that, we do the command system.out.println. And the only thing that will be capitalized in there is system. Everything else is lowercase. Uh, a shortcut for this is typing SYSO, hitting control, and then space. That will automatically generate the uh, same exact line. All right? Just a little shortcut there. We'll be using that shortcut from now on. So remember, it's SYSO, control, space. Uh, just to save time. All right, so what's nice about this is it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, let's say you want to print out a phrase, all you do is you do use your parentheses because we're going to be making a string here. And we're going to do hello world. Let's make it the same as our hello world. Now if we hit the run button, we'll compile it and it'll display out hello world right there at the bottom. But the uh, system out print line is actually very useful because we can also do other things with it such as print out variables. So let's say that we want variable a. This will now print out the value of 4 because that is what a is holding. It'll do the same exact thing with b. It'll print out 4.0 because that's the value that b is holding. And so forth for c, d, and e. If we print out e, it'll actually just print out hello world, the same statement that we had before. And so that's kind of more versatile. That's more tools you can kind of use and, uh, while you're coding. Now then, another thing that we can do, actually, it will include our uh, simple things like our addition and subtraction, simple math operations. And we have, so let's say that we want to do A plus B in there. This will actually print out 8. Well, actually, we'll print out 8.0. We'll go over Y later. But say you want A plus A, it'll just print out 4. So that's what's really versatile about the system out print line and first about Java is because you can add and subtract a whole bunch of things as long as they're uh, the same type of object uh, more or less, same type of variable, with a few exceptions of course. Alright, so now let's begin with our division. Alright, so let's say we have int x, int y, and int z. Of course there's going to be an easier way to do this, however, I'm just going to do it this way just for the easiest visualization. Let's say that int x is equal to 4, int y is equal to 2, and int z is going to be equal to x over y. So if you're following along with uh, simple logic, you'll see well, our basic operation is simply just 4 over 2. And we're going to print out z. So we're going to get 2. That's what 4 over 2 is. However, what happens if we do 4 over 3? We have 1. We're not going to be getting 1.3333333 repeating because this is integer division. And we defined z as an integer as well. An integer, remember, it cannot have a decimal place. It is simply just a number that is not negative, positive, or a decimal. It is just a number. That's an integer. Now what happens if we change this to 3.0? We're gonna get an error because, and always if you have an error, make sure you read what the issue is. I know some people just go right to saying, ah, we, what's happening? I don't know. Read the error. Cannot convert a double to an int. That's because we have defined y as an integer. Now I have to make it a double. However, we have another issue then. x over y, that's not going to return an integer anymore. That's going to return a double. Double, because we removed into double. 
uh, division. So we also have to define z as a double. Now we have our 1.3 repeating. So this is our exact value, what we got going on there. So that's double division. Now there's multiple ways to be doing double division as well. Say that we want say that we want to keep this an integer here because we're lazy. We don't have to make it a 3.0 or anything like that. All we have to do is uh, it's something called casting. Now what this technique requires is it's very specific. There's only certain conditions under which you can cast and it will work properly. One point where casting works very well is when you're trying to do an integer to a double. Not necessarily a double to an integer. You'll get some uh, weird numbers if you try to do that, but definitely doing an integer to a double is definitely the best way for casting. And, uh, I mean, you think if you're confused about what casting is, um, think of it like a play or a movie. Um, in Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp was cast as Captain Jack Sparrow. Therefore, in the movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp was no longer Johnny Depp. He was Captain Jack Sparrow. That was his identity. That was who he was in the movie. We're saying it's the same thing going on here in this specific operation. We are casting y as a double. And to cast something, you do parentheses. And within the and this is before it. Within the parentheses, you put double. And now if you run it, we'll get the same exact thing. Even though we're still, even though these are still two integers, we've cast this as a double within this operation, making it print out that. All right, so that's integer division and double division. You can always play around with that as well. You can also remember you can also do the same. All the operations can also be done right in system out print line, and you also don't need variables. So you just want double z to be four over three. That will also still return the same. That will return a 1.0 because these are still technically integers. If you wanted to get a uh, the full thing, you'd have to do like a 4.0 or cast it as a double. And any of these can be casted as a double. It doesn't have to be the numerator or the denominator. Both of them are perfectly fine. Everyone wins. All right. So just to recap that up, let me just give you some uh, little notes here, so I can actually you guys can actually read it as I'm saying it, so it gets in your mind. Integer division is going to be an integer over an integer. That's all an integer division can ever be. Oh, oops, spelled division wrong. Sorry about that. All right. A double division. I'm not going to fix it just to spite you guys. Double division is going to be a an integer over a double, a double over an integer, or a double over a double. All right. So once an integer division is going to be integer division until a double is involved. Basic rule to go by. All right. So we got that down. Now, addition and subtraction is pretty simple. 4 plus integer a is equal to 4 plus 4. What not? a is getting an error because I already defined it earlier. So we'll say integer z is equal to 4 plus 4. You can say you can still do the same thing as well. Now, there might, there's also another issue that we're going to have here. a plus b. Here we have defined a as 4 and b as 4.0. Remember though, this cannot work because b is a double, therefore it will return a double because once a double gets in there, it's no longer an integer. It is a double. That's an important thing to remember. So we'd have to cast, so z has to be a double in order for that to work correctly. All right, simple enough. Then we have subtraction, same exact thing. Multiplication, same exact Multiplication is also the same principle. The only thing that's really weird is division. Then we have some other fun operations, such as plus plus and minus minus. So say that we have int a. a plus plus, right there, are going to print out a. This is a shortcut. The plus plus will increment it by 1. It's just a little shortcut that we have going on there. It's going to be used mainly in loops, which we'll go through later. So plus 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 plus. Same thing with minus minus. It will also subtract it by one. Then we have things like plus equals three. What this is doing is the plus equals is saying a 
plus three equals a is what it's doing. So it's a shortcut. So instead of doing uh, a is equal to a plus three, we can just do a plus equals three and we'll get seven. If I can count right, yes, we got seven. I'm smart. All right, so that's the same thing with division. That's the same with everything else. If you do the operator, if you do the operand, or the operator, and equals, that will give you that, yeah. I'm not gonna confuse you guys with that. That's what it's gonna give you. All right, so that is our uh, basic tutorials on system out prints and our operations. Uh, we'll be going over more advanced system out prints later, uh, such as getting multiple lines and whatnot. And yeah, I hope you guys had a good time watching this. If you have any questions, uh, if you're having any trouble following my logic, please make a comment below. Otherwise, I uh, hope you have a great day. Um, hope you stay are still interested in coding in Java. It is going to be going slow, but understand that uh, as you go slow, you're going to be building these bases for future programming. So you'll be able to be making your own video games soon, which I still don't know how to do. Yeah, we'll figure out that later, though. All right, uh, happy crafting, and hope to see you guys later.